You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, YNR fans. I've got your weekly prediction edition, and we're going to talk about Victor helping Summer steal Harrison and lots of other good stuff. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and as always, my predictions are based on official CBS soap opera spoilers. I've got predictions for Victor, Jack, and Harrison, for Daniel, Faith, and Lucy, for Cameron and Sharon, for Lily and Billy, and for Chelsea, Adam, and Connor. And hey, if you haven't subscribed, we'd love it if you've reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our updates. Let's jump right in with our very first prediction. Victor and Jack may play dirty in this custody case with Victor helping Summer steal Jack's grandchild. So the Harrison custody case may be the next subject of an Abbott versus Newman war. Phyllis is cheering on this custody grab that Summer has done for no reason other than assumptions about Audra and Kyle's personal life, which as long as he's not doing anything in front of near or to hurt Harrison is none of her business. Then on Monday, August 5th, Summer spends time with her mom, who's again applauding her for screwing Kyle over with this Harrison thing. Summer and Harrison stop by the Abbott Mansion to pick up Lucky Bunny, and Jack and Diane talk to her briefly about this custody thing, but they table it because it's their wedding anniversary, and they don't want to get into it that deeply. On Wednesday, August 7th, Jack tries to help Kyle and Summer make peace, but that's the day that Kyle is back early from the Paris trip angry that Summer let something happen with or to Harrison. And on Friday, August 9th, Victor is pulling strings to help Summer. The only thing Summer needs help with right now is this Kyle situation. Is Victor going to use his influence to help his granddaughter steal Jack's grandson away from Kyle? That same day on Friday the 9th, Phyllis provokes Diane maybe about, ha ha, you're not going to get to see your grandson anymore because he's my grandson too and he's going to be with me. That would definitely have Diane convincing Jack to go ahead and take a heavier hand. And honestly, this custody battle could reunite Diane, Jack, and Kyle if they unite to take on the Newmans who are trying to steal Harrison. Boo. All right. Our second prediction, Daniel Romilotti may blame Faith for Lucy getting drunk. So on Monday, August the 5th, Faith and Lucy head over to the concert. Remember, this is the concert that Lucy lied and said Daniel couldn't go and said she had a spare wristband. Can Faith go with her? Faith talked to her mom, Sharon, about that she feels sorry for Lucy because she seems lonely, but she's not sure if she should be wading into that. But Sharon encouraged her daughter, Faith, to befriend lonely young Lucy. The problem is the 14-year-old snuck some booze from somewhere and she's getting bombed and Faith doesn't figure this out until Lucy is already drunk. That's something we see in the promo and Faith is very upset about it. Obviously, Faith is going to have to bring Lucy home. I'm sure like the good kid she is, she's going to take responsibility for this younger teen, bring her home. But Daniel may blame Faith for it even though Lucy has been lying and acting sketchy. Because remember, Daniel was the older teen who was drinking around younger teen Cassie back in the day. Maybe he's worried something's going to happen to Lucy, like that happened with Cassie. Maybe he's going to lash out at Faith, call her a bad influence just because of his own sketchy past. Our third prediction ties into this scenario. Cameron Kirsten may tell Sharon to avenge Faith. Will she hurt Lucy or Daniel or somebody else on this very bad advice? So all this, there's the drunk drama on Monday the 5th. And then on Tuesday, August 6th, Cameron is back and he's taunting Sharon. In the promo, he's going to tell her that, that he's there because she wants him to be. And in a recent interview, Lyndon Ashby gave a few spoilers, and he said, Cameron's not dangerous 
to Sharon in a physical sense because he's not alive. He's this figment of her imagination. But for whatever reason, Sharon has conjured him up and Cameron is going to encourage some dark thoughts in her and possibly encourage her towards some dark deeds. And if Faith comes home upset and says Lucy was drinking and she took her home, and that Daniel was accusatory with her, I can only imagine how Sharon will react first, because Daniel doesn't have any right to talk about things like that, given his own teenage behavior. But also, it just may really trigger Sharon, who keeps hallucinating Cassie. And between hallucinating Cassie and hallucinating Cameron, Sharon's going to be out doing some bad things soon. Maybe to Lucy, maybe to Daniel. We'll see. I would actually like to see her stop by and just slap Phyllis for the way that she speaks to her on Monday's U.S. episode. You guys will see. You'll get it. Our fourth prediction, Lily may abandon Billy and join Team Newman in their takeover efforts. So on Tuesday, August 6th, Nikki and Victor have some unfinished business with Lily and Nate. That's kind of strange. I don't know what it's about. Nate worked for them at Newman Media, and then they fired him, and then he was back over. He was at Chancellor Winters, and now he's gone to Hamilton Winters with Devon. Lily is still at what has turned into Abbott Chancellor, all caps Abbott. And Victor had just told Nick that Lily might be a problem with this takeover just because they don't know where her loyalties lie. And he already used Devon to take a message to Lily that she should get out of the way because Victor's coming for Billy and he doesn't want her to be collateral damage. On Wednesday, August 7th, spoilers say Lily questions choosing to side with Billy. And by Thursday, August 8th, Billy changes up how he's dealing with Lily and And if Nikki and Victor can lure Lily over to the dark side, then that could flip everything. We'll see how it goes. Our fifth and final prediction, Chelsea and Adam agree to hide their cheating to protect Connor and Sally. So nobody cares about Billy, right? He's a big boy. He's done horrible things. I'm not worried about him and all this. But remember, Chelsea wanted to come clean just because of the guilt. And she even suggested to Adam like two weeks ago, I can just come clean to Billy and tell him he can't tell Sally. And, you know, Adam's like, that's that's not going to work. But I suspect Chelsea has changed her mind because Connor is coming home and I think Adam will be able to convince her, look, we can't bring Connor into a situation where we are dealing with angry partners mad at us because we cheated when we were out of town to check on him. That would, Adam has got to realize if Connor found out any of that, it could be a huge setback. He might have to go back into the inpatient thing. They might lose him. So on Tuesday, August 6th, Sally recalls something from her painful past. I think it might be her thinking about baby Ava's death. She died, it was like a year ago, June. So it's been a while. And on Wednesday, the 7th, Adam is comforting her. And then on Thursday, the 8th, Adam and Chelsea are excited to go bring Connor home. So with Sally in pain and Connor on eggshells and just in a fragile state, I think They're going to have to agree. They have to hide it. Of course, as we all know, because it's a soap opera, it won't stay hidden. But just for now, I do see Chelsea and Adam making a working agreement. Thanks for listening. Those are all of our predictions. Drop your comments on what you're excited to see and where you think these storylines are going. Hit that subscribe button if you're not following us. And definitely come back soon. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, talking Young and the Restless with you seven days a week. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 